the students are going to be doing two different investigations. Half the class will be doing investigation one, which is what is the relationship between particle size and erosion. The other half is going to be doing an investigation that's going to be looking at what is the relationship between slope of the land and erosion. The students who are doing investigation one, the relationship between particle size and erosion, they're going to be having a mixture of soil, sand, slate, and gravel. Once they pour the water onto their hill, they now have to observe what happens. And they need to rank the size of the particles from the largest to the smallest. And then they need to mark the distance the material spread and what effects the water had on that hill. Our soil and sand. It moved eight inches. Soil? Soil and sand both moved eight inches. Did it make it all the way to the end of the bucket? Yeah. 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 What about the rocks? Um, those went like halfway, so what's that? Four inches. So they're learning that the smaller the particle size, the faster and further it's going to go. In investigation two, the relationship between the slope of the land and erosion, they're going to make a hill of a moist sand. And then they're going to take a spray bottle and simulate rain. And their first investigation, they'll have no slope. I don't see a lot moving down that much. No. Nothing's, not much is moving down. Then they create a gentle slope by raising the slope of the hill five centimeters and perform the experiment again. Then they make a steep hill by raising it again another five centimeters and record their results. Each group needs to analyze their results. With the no slope? Okay, so then we can do it on this one. Uh, right there is like no erosion. Zero, How about the yeah. um, sand and that spread? They're finding oh, yeah. trends and making claims. What patterns did you see? And if you're seeing patterns, you can now make a claim. 